Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. Anybody who has subscribed <clears throat> or donated to my channel, thank you very much. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by going to the comment section and just entering winner liking and subscribing. But if you are doing well for yourself, let's pass this on to somebody who could use the $100. It will be drawn on April 30th. With that being said, we're just gonna see what is coming in love from my angels, my gorgeous babies. But first I asked what chakra would be important for you to work on or what chakra needs working on. And you have pulled the sacral chakra, right? So. This is such an important chakra. It, it creativity, flexibility, um, desires, appetite, addictions, karmic patterns. The reason why I always bring up the sacral, y'all, is because it is karmic patterns. It's your sexuality. It's um, passion. It's 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 how you're enjoying your life, feeling inspired again, feeling alive again. Now I'm going to put this here because there is a lot of really good information about your chakra if you would like to screenshot anybody is interested i am sorry if you're not but <clears throat> flexibility now you may want to do a meditation wear orange um, eat a lot of orange foods do um you know things that make you feel sexy you know dress sexy and dance alone in your um house do something that makes you feel alive and, and attractive again. Really color with bright colors. Um, you know, paint something with a lot of oranges and bright colors. Do something to open yourself up. You have called upon this card today to encourage you to invite more flexibility into your world. The nature of life and our experiences are constantly inviting us to find a state of flexibility. When you can surrender to these messages, they will allow you to embody a more flexible state of being. This will bring an abundance of ease and grace as you find yourself in the flow. Have you been feeling a little rigid in your thoughts and ideas lately? Maybe even stuck in your ways? If so, it's time to practice the art of flexibility. You may be holding on to something in your life a little too tightly, and now it is time to let go and allow some new energy to flow in. It is easy to get caught up in trivial ideas and thoughts, especially if we have a strong belief system in place. However, at this time, it will be beneficial and very healing to look at some of these outdated ways and beliefs that could be wreaking havoc in your world. Take some time to tune in and see what is no longer serving you and take steps to bring about more flexibility. This card could also mean that you are being too rigid with a particular person and it's time to give them and yourself a little more um, slack. Flexibility is available to you right now. Let it in and allow for a life with a little more ease and grace. The affirmation, I am free flowing and flexible. That's a good one. I am free flowing and flexible. Beautiful. Um, I feel for some of you, you already know what you're holding on to too tightly. We don't even need to go into that. Um, for some, you're holding on to a lot of things too tightly, perhaps, right? Because we are fixed signs and we can get stuck in our ways. It's important, Scorpio, to allow life to flow. Whatever is going to be, is going to be. The divine is always watching over you. There is, thank you, spirit. There is always reminders of that, okay? So moving into the reading, somebody here has a lot of reminders around them of you. They're dreaming a lot. For some of you, you may like dream catchers. I do. I actually am going to buy one at Hobby Lobby. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna, I love it. Um, you may like dream catchers. You may want to start making a dream catcher. They're fun to make. Um, really get into it. Get creative. Open up your sacral chakra, okay? For some of you, you're having dreams about this person. They're having dreams about you. You all are communicating. 
There seems to be some hidden chit chat, some tweets perhaps, or hidden messages that you found from this person, or you and this person have been flirting secretly back and forth, right? You definitely could be uh, sending flirty messages to one another, or you were, or you found that they were with somebody else. This person wants to solve an issue. They want to solve an issue of, uh, uh, you know, in your relationship, or they want to solve an issue on how to get back in your good graces. Happy days are ahead, but, you know, there is confusion, a lot of confusion. This person perhaps has painted a lot of confusion. I feel here it's multifaceted, but they look at you like you are multifaceted. Perhaps you take care of a home, children, work full time, do the damn thing all on your own, right? Maybe you're really good at what you do. Yeah, this person feels drained. They are stalking you, Scorpio. They could look at this beady eyed creep. <laughs> They are in the bushes stalking you. They feel you have amazing chemistry, but they're drained because they created so much drama in you all's life. I feel this person could have created drama constantly. It was going round and round, and now they want to try to solve an issue on getting back into your energy. There's reminders of you everywhere. I feel they're drained. There's drama in their life. Yeah, it's been a bumpy path. Lots of up, ups and downs. Your love will be tested. Your love has been tested here for certain. This person tests you all the time. For some of you, this person, that's what they do. They test you on purpose. They test you to, because they feel that when someone shows them love, it means they fight, scream, yell, um, you know, fight other people you know, stay away from my man or you better stay away from my woman kind of scenario. This person's always testing you. I feel you're not waiting around. You're, you're trying to move on, but this person knows that you have a soft spot for them. Um, you also have a special place in this person's heart. They, they feel like they've been emotionally vulnerable with you, but for some of you, this person is a Casanova. They have a very active love life. They're very hard to tame here. They want to take you out. They want to have a conversation over dinner. Perhaps the last time y'all seen one another, you had conversations over dinner. Tell me what these hidden chit chats and tweets are. What are these hidden chit chats and tweets? This person, whatever you found, they are panicking now. They feel time is running out. They're, they're afraid that you know they were communicating with somebody I'm, I'm feeling. They feel like they are on cloud nine when they're around you. And they feel like at the beginning of y'all's relationship, you both felt head over heels in love. But then you could have found that this person had a very active love life. You know what I mean? Tell me about stalking spirit. I feel this person was out here doing the very damn most and you found out, yeah, it was messy. It's complicated, a very messy situation. Um, stalker clarified by reconciliation, meeting halfway, resolving issues, loved mark by confusion. This person is just so extremely confused that why talk when you can stalk? They just want to make sure, they want to see what you're doing. Tell me about this drama. What is it? They want to make sure that you're not, you know, up to something. They want to make sure that you're not dating somebody. There was a lot of gossip about whatever was going on, or this person has some kind of reputation. Be careful who you talk to right now, okay? Because there's somebody around you that could, I feel, tell this person things or gossip. There's a lot of, of um, wisdom, enduring strength. Something, though, that's, that's mm, familiar, that that's, comes from um, family curses I, I, as well. This person could have been raised in a very drama-filled family with constant fighting, arguing, parents that were on and off, never seen a real, actual connection, and it's caused them to act this way now. I feel here this person doesn't want drama anymore, it seems. Tell me about the drama spirit. They, they are super drained. Well, one of the reasons is, bec is because, you know, they're exhausted. They were living a double life. They're at their breaking point. They're tired of all the drama. There was drama on both sides, right? Drama everywhere in this person's life, as I said. 
but a new beginning is close. The answers are close. Don't give up now. I feel here this person would disrespect your boundaries all the time. Why are they confused? What is the confusion here? Why are they so confused? Because they're madly in love with you, Scorpio, and they want reconciliation. This person, uh, they, it's hard to control their self. They want to come in and they want reconciliation, but the thing is, is there had been so much drama and you could have caught them flirting with other people. You could have caught them um, out here dating other people. They've came to some clarity. They're very focused on their work. For some of you, this person's job affected you all's relationship um, because either they were there all the time, out networking all the time, or, you know, let's say they were a bartender. They were meeting people all the time and it affected y'all's connection. This person is caught between two, right? Loves you. Difficult to choose. Caught between two lovers. Loves both for the wrong for different reasons. So for some of you, this person has fell in love with you, but was already committed. And that's why you all had secret chit chats for others. This person was committed to you and had a workplace affair. For some of you, you had a workplace affair and this person is not following their heart. They followed their mind and now they are finding their self here, stalking in the bushes instead of being open and honest with you. Um, they, I feel this person skedaddled. Tell me about what's been going on in their energy spirit. For some of you, you had a workplace affair or this person used work as an excuse. Yeah, they're never satisfied. They don't, they don't know when to quit. First of all, they, they have risky behavior. They could be in debt. They could be addicted to gambling, addicted to shopping. This person is craving you. They have an intense sexual pull towards you. Um, this person literally, uh, during solo play, wanting you right now. This person right now, this very moment, wants to come make love to you. This person thinks of you when they pleasure their self. They have a very high sex drive, though. They could be addicted to sex, y'all. This person, um, you know, masturbates daily, wants sex multiple times a day or week, but they are a workaholic. This is somebody here, y'all, who's never satisfied who works a lot, fucks a lot, does everything a lot, everything a lot, everything they do, they do it to the extreme. I feel for a lot of you, this was a workplace affair. For others, this person was using work as an excuse to go meet a third party or um, they were having a, an affair with somebody they worked with. Um, this person is, is going to message you. There's unexpected messages coming in. They can barely contain their self anymore. But spirit is saying, lock your doors. This person's um, stalking your place. They're moving out of desperation. They know your schedule. They want to try to, especially if you work with this person, if you go on lunch at a certain time or you go somewhere at a certain time in the building, this person is going to try to be there. It's a very tricky, complicated situation I feel we're channeling today. It, it, if you don't work with this person and they know your work schedule, they may show up. They may um, leave a letter in your car. They may um, leave flowers at your doorstep when you come home from work. There's something here about that. I feel here... Um, this person's racing against time. They're trying to um, prioritize, but we are, what did I say, a complicated time. They're, they're taking a sly approach. It's uncomfortable and it's messy. Whatever has happened here, this person, um, you y'all could have been having an affair and somebody found out um, or you found out. You know, there was a lot of lessons to learn, soul lessons, learning, wounds, healing work must be done, blocked for your highest good. Make a decision when you feel best. This person is, is gradually creeping in. Keep a good attitude because it's going to take a while. This They are not learning their lessons. I feel for a lot of you, whatever has went down here, you found out something. They were even either having an affair, talking to somebody, or et cetera, or you were the one having an affair with them and they got caught and then you... Uh, they just moved on like bam, but now they, they're having a hard time doing that. There, you're, you need to use your intuition to guide you. Let p playfulness carry you forward, Scorpio. This person is very curious about you. They could be trying to break free from fear. 
there's hesitation. They're not being bold. All, something could have went down October, November, December time it, frame, and it could have been that long since you have heard from this person. Um, for some of you, it's going to take all the way till September until you do. We will get some time frames here towards the end. All right, so Tommy Spirit, what is this workplace affair? What is this? Oh, yeah, this person, it could have been the reason why you got a divorce, okay? It literally, for some of you, it's the, it, it's the old uh, secretary boss kind of thing. For others, it's just a coworker um, that they were having an affair with or, you know, you're in the middle of that. And somebody definitely found out. You either found out or, an, or the some other third party found out, right? There's been fighting. You, you've, been ha you've had to be very cold and logical to this person. I feel here that they painted some illusion. They painted some kind of, um, you know, like lie. They, they could have even said they had to work on Tuesdays, for example, but Tuesdays they were going to a hotel with somebody else. I feel this person embarrassed you so much, Scorpio, and I'm so sorry if that's the case for some of you. For others, this person is too worried about what people will say in your work for it to become public. They don't want to make this public. They don't want people to find out because it will embarrass them in some way, not because they're embarrassed of you, but because it's a workplace affair. This person is just, there's pain, there's sleeplessness, there's stress, there's backstabbing going round and round. I feel they're very disconnected. They're very bored. I feel that they... Um, yeah, they want to move forward here. They want to move away from from whatever else is going on. But tell me about difficult choice. This person could be an actual recovery. They could have pulled away to recover. They could have been drinking a lot, doing something a lot, gambling a lot here. They're trying to balance their self out. They definitely could be married, Scorpio, or you were married to them. You were building the Ten of Pentacles with them. And you knew, see, this is the thing. Your intuition was telling you something. I feel you could have did some detective work and found messages, emails, found out something about them, either cheating at work or, or something's going on there. You already knew. Your, your intuition told you everything. It definitely had to do with communication. Tell me, Spirit, what is this person planning to do next? Yeah, there's a lot of sorrow, a lot of heartbreak, and they can they could certainly still be married or still in a third party connection. This person could actually be looking if, if you all had a workplace affair and you, you still work together, they're looking for a new job, it seems possibly so they can be open about your connection. I don't know. For some, that's the case. For others, this person is looking for a new job because they can't contain their self. They want to come in and give you their wand or get your wand all the time. So they are about to move and find new work. It pains them to see you. For some of you, this person is married. You all got caught having an affair and their wife is making them leave this job and find a new one or their husband. This person could be a mother, a father figure. You could have children to them. Some of you, this person's about to get in trouble because they're having workplace affairs and they are about to lose their job. So they're looking for a new one. For some of you, this person does this all the time. This is their MO. They have affairs with people at work or their employees or something, and they are um, trying to manifest new money. For some others, the, the thing is here is this person may not have been having a workplace affair, but they could have been using work as an excuse, and they actually were not making money. They were messing around. Um, yeah, there was deceit. There was cheating. There was envy, temptation, trickery. My goodness. Now, the thing is, is this person is very stubborn, but they do want to come in and give you, yeah, they, thank you, Spirit. They want to negotiate. There could be a lot of gossip going on about this person and their behavior or a gossip at work about what's going on. You know, um, there could, just could be, and if somebody's gossiping about, you, uh, gossiping about you, Scorpio, just let it roll. Don't even pay any mind to it. Don't. These people don't even know what they're talking about. 
I do feel they want to come in and they want to have a discussion. They want to talk. This could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. We have a lot of Earth here, Air here, Cancer here, Aries here, um, Pisces as well. I feel um, fire. Everybody's here. I feel you're going to receive a message from this person in the next 12 weeks, right? Could be on the 7th or the 12th of May as well. Again, we're moving into uh, um, we're moving into Mercury retrograde on the 21st, and that's going to bring a lot of people back. This person again was stalker, y'all. Damn, stalking insecure male or female. They're stalking because they're afraid you're going to move on. They're stalking because they want you sexually so bad, but they could be dealing with a straight trollop. They could be dealing with somebody who does sexual things for them for money or material um, gain, or they're out here doing sexual things with people for material gain. They definitely are dealing with a karmic lover. There's a karmic lover involved, but for some of you, what this is saying is a karmic lover is also watching you this person is an opportunist, Scorpio. They are a follower. They do what everybody wants them to do, or that's who they're, what kind of person they're dealing with. I feel for some of you, this person wants to come in and negotiate with you, but what do they want to negotiate, spirit? Um, maybe that they're going to leave somebody, yeah, that they're going to um, rip off the Band-Aid with a third party um, soon. They're going to leave a third party soon that they want to release here. There's going to be reckoning. You all are te um, telepathically communicating, but you need to trust your intuition here. If you're having lucid dreams about this person, they're having lucid dreams about you. They want to come in here and tell you that their love is enduring and, and long lasting, but their ego and their pride is getting in the way. They want success with you. For some of you, they're coming to tell you that they're looking for a new job. They're changing jobs so you all can be together if you work together. For, for, for some, this person's telling you that they're leaving a third party, but they need to start making more money. They need to get their money up first if they are codependent on a third party. I am aware I sabotaged this connection. This was an old pattern and defense mechanism. Mm. I felt out of control with my feelings. I needed time and space to regroup. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, this person was madly in love with you, like, like we've seen here, madly in love with you, Scorpio, but they couldn't take it. It was too much for them. It was just all too much. I haven't felt this way about anyone else ever, uncharted territory. I, I was just about to say they don't know what to say. They don't know how to deal with a connection this deep. They don't know their feelings has over, you know, overtook them. So they're, they're not following their heart. They're trying to be logical and you cannot be logical regarding love. Sometimes you love just, it's, it's not a logical thing. Sometimes we love who we love, you know? So this person needs to understand that. So you're being guided here to make healthy choices self-love, self-care, and to be happier. Raise your vibration, sweetheart. It's going to really pay off. It will even help you in this person's connection if you want them back. It will raise your vibration enough. I feel here, for some of you, this person wants to take you somewhere. <laughs> Third time, stalking, watching, gaslighting, focused out on Scorpio. Oh, this person, man, they need to get a pair of binoculars. I'm beginning to believe that they are in your bushes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss, Scorp. You have a lot of beautiful things coming for you. Know that. This person wants to bring some stability, some security, and they want to, I feel for some of you, they want to take you somewhere tropical, or you all could have went somewhere tropical, and, and they um, think about it all the time, but they have a block. They're codependent. They're, they're um, codependent on a third party emotionally, financially, in some way, and it's what's stopping them. There is a block, but remember, the divine has put up a block for your highest good right now. 
right now is not the greatest time, I feel, Scorpio, because this person still has a lot of issues that they need to deal with. So spirit has put a block up. Now that does not mean that will be forever, right? That doesn't always mean that, but you can't just sit around and waste your life away. You need to live at least, be open, be open. If you want this person back, but there's nothing you can do, just get out there and be open and live your life every day to its fullest. Only think about the present moment. Time, you're trying too hard, give it time. For some of you, you're actually energetically pushing it away because you want it so bad, right? It's important to just focus on yourself. Bring yourself back to yourself. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answers dwell in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway of the soul. Yeah, get out there and try new things. Ask yourself, what do you really want? Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if you notice, y'all, this is all about self. All of, all of these messages here are about you, Scorpio. You finding you. You looking inside yourself. You deciding what and who it is you really want. But maybe first, before you th start thinking about dating, you start thinking about healing, growing, and changing the things about you that need to be changed. And then you never know. You might not even look at this person the same. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. For some of you, maybe I am that older person. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Saturday or whenever you are watching this reading. Love and light.